This is a hyacinth bulb growing in a transparent container. And you can see that there are two root types here. One is the long, thin, the other type is short and stubby. And also, it has at the top wrinkles, sort of concertina like wrinkles. Most folk are familiar with the movements of plants, that is, growing towards the light or the more extreme examples of things like the Venus flytrap. But as less well known is that a large number of plants, many of which have got bulbs or corms, are able to move vertically down into the ground using special contractile roots. What is happening is that in amongst these species they have an ability to pull themselves down in case there have been uh, water eroding the soil above, or they've been producing bulbils at the side. Bulbils are asexual reproduction, so they're small bulbs which need to detach from the parent bulb. And there are various other reasons why bulbs get too close to the surface. So this second contractile root type is able to push down into the soil. Sometimes a number of them will die off although they leave enough of them, and they're very powerful, to pull the bulb down into the space created by the rotting root. Others have these special roots that not only are contractile, but also they can expand, so they create a space. And when they become thin again, that space would enable the bulb to have a room to be moved into. The long, thin roots are primarily involved in the uptake of water and minerals from the soil. They'll have lots of root hairs on them, and they'll grow from these root tips. The contractile roots, they have these consumer effect on them, because although the central part of the root can contract, the outer skin doesn't. So as the root pulls down to the soil, then it results in the outer skin concertinering wrinkling. The other thing is how does the plant know when to stop pulling the bulb into the ground? Well, experiments have shown that the light sensitivity of the bulb is able to show when it becomes to a certain depth, a certain lack of light, then the, con the contractile roots will cease pulling. The contractile roots create their movement by the movement of water through osmosis. Much as the same way as uh, the mimosa, the sensitive plant, the one where you touch the leaves and the, the leaves will collapse, as sometimes do the side branches, the twigs. This potted specimen shows some of the shoots coming from bulbils. Bulbils are small bulbs that develop on the side of the parent bulb and will eventually grow into new plants. Now to prevent competition from all being crowded together, the contractile roots on the bulbils can pull down and out and pull them away from their parents, if you like. 